So today we're down at the 12 unit, six units on each side. And we got an apartment that just came vacant. The guy's been in here for years and was a heavy, heavy smoker. So let's see what we got. Yeah. This is going to be fun. These walls or ceilings are completely yellow. <sighs> this is real life real estate investing. Time to get started, show you how to get this place cleaned up. The first step in the process when you have walls that have nicotine, uh, so much nicotine on them like we're dealing with here, is to clean them really good. I use uh, trisodium phosphate, TSP, that's a cleaner degreaser, and I mix that with a little bit of Dawn in a bucket, and then I use a sponge mop. Just to hit the ceilings and walls i think that's the quickest way to go about it and then i have another bucket and that rag is nasty now but of clean water that then i go over and wipe up where i sponge mop here you can see a ceiling where i have just cleaned it's hard to see the lighting is so bad in here but obviously it's much much cleaner uh, on the right hand side if you look back at the ceiling, it's not perfect where I've cleaned, but I'm gonna go over it. This one's so bad, I'm probably gonna to have to go over it a second time. When you are using TSP, make sure you wear gloves. Pretty pink ones are probably the best, but anyhow, just make sure you wear gloves. That stuff's pretty rough on your hands. It really dries them out if you're not wearing any gloves. I meant to say earlier, change out your water after you do about 100 square feet, not 10 square feet, or in other words, a 10 by 10 area. But this is what your water will look like after you've done that. Nasty. All right, the next step after cleaning is to prime. I want to show you, we clean these ceilings and the walls twice, and they're still have a lot of nicotine stains that are showing through. So the next step is to prime. And for that, I'm using this Ben uh, Schlack Base Primer. And it's made by, I'm gonna mess it up, Scherzinger. Um, but it is made, as you can see there, it's made to cover up fire, smoke, and water damage. It does a real good job. It completely seals in, seals in all the smell and uh, all the uh, nicotine stains. Now this stuff is expensive, so normal, uh, I'll call it Kills Primers, $16, $17 a gallon. This stuff's about $46 a gallon, but it's well worth it. It's good insurance that once you put your top coat on, uh, the smell and the stains are not gonna bleed through. So to apply it, I'm just using this little guy. I like this because I can get into the corners without using a brush. And then finally, I'll go back with my 18 inch roller and I have a 3 8 inch snap on here right now. The ceiling does have a little bit of texture. I think I can get by with this. If not, I may have to switch to a half inch, but I just want to use this one because it's a cheap brush and uh, this primer is not water based cleanup. So whatever roller I use, I want to just throw it away. So I will show you after we get this all primed. It's a quick shot as I'm doing the ceilings. You can tell it's making pretty dramatic difference. Just a couple uh, words of caution. One is you need good ventilation. This stuff's pretty nasty to breathe. And two, it is super, super thin. So it is gonna spray everywhere. Make sure you have all your surfaces covered with drop cloths. If you get any on the surface, you need to clean it with denatured alcohol right away or it will not come off. 
So, seems like it's working. So here's what it looks like after you put the primer on. You can see the down that box, what a difference it made. Now the corners didn't cover as well with the little roller that I was using, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. It's sealed up, so I think it's going to be fine. We put our top coat on, and that is the next step. All right, we finally finished with the final step, which is to put on your top coat of your paint. So let's go in and take a look. So the ceilings are nice and white, no bleed through at all. The walls we painted agreeable gray satin, which is the standard color that I use everywhere. Uh, trim, we use semi-gloss white. The refrigerator, the front of it cleaned up okay, but for whatever reason, the sides and the top, you can see it's still yellow. So I'm either going to have to paint this or replace it. I'm not sure which I'm going to do. Kind of the same thing with the stove. Most of it cleaned up nicely besides that top there, which is yellow. But anyhow, the cabinets came look pretty good. In the bath, I ended up just replacing the vanity. The toilet was so nasty, I didn't want to mess with it. So I replaced it. The bathtub cleaned up pretty good. And in the bedroom, kind of same thing. Ceilings look good, no bleed through. Painted the walls, painted the trim. So we had in total about 72 man hours in this. We used seven pounds of TSP, just because we had to change the water out so often. And I used about three and a half gallons of the Zenzer Ben primer. Now this is only a 400 square foot apartment, so adjust accordingly if you have a bigger apartment that you're doing. But it's not complicated, it's just a lot of work to get this done. So hopefully this video will help you um, if you have this situation come up, if you like this kind of content, please be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.